Insights of Family Businesses. Our today's topic is Exploring Leadership Dynamics, Choosing the Right Leadership Structure for Your Family Business. Co-leadership, where multiple family members jointly hold leadership positions, offers both advantages and challenges. Advantages. Shared responsibilities. Co-leaders can divide and conquer responsibilities, allowing for more efficient business management. Complementary skills. Co-leaders may bring different skills and perspectives to the table, enhancing decision-making and problem-solving. Family harmony. Co-leadership can foster a sense of equality and fairness among family members, reducing potential conflicts. Challenges. Decision-making consensus. Reaching consensus on major decisions can take time and effort, potentially slowing the decision-making process. Role clarity. Defining clear roles and responsibilities for co-leaders can be complex and may lead to overlaps or gaps in responsibilities. Succession planning. Co-leadership can complicate succession planning, as it may need to be clarified who should assume leadership roles in the next generation. Forming a management team comprising both family and non-family members can offer numerous benefits. Benefits Diverse expertise, a diverse management team, can bring a wide range of expertise and experience to the business. Objective decision-making Non-family members on the team can provide an objective perspective, reducing potential bias. Succession preparation. Management teams can facilitate smoother succession by grooming non-family members for leadership roles. Considerations. Balancing family interests. Ensuring that family interests are adequately represented within a management team is crucial. Communication. Effective communication and collaboration among team members are essential for success. Conflict resolution, establish mechanisms for resolving conflicts or disagreements that may arise within the team. To determine the most suitable leadership structure for your family business, consider the following steps. Define your goals. Clearly define your family business's short-term and long-term goals. Consider the values and culture you want to uphold. Evaluate family skills. Assess the skills, strengths, and qualifications of family members who may assume leadership roles. Identify external talent. Identify non-family members who could bring valuable expertise and experience to the leadership team. Conduct a gap analysis. Determine where there may be gaps in leadership skills or experience within the family and consider how external talent could fill those gaps. Engage in open discussion. Facilitate open discussions among family members to gauge their preferences, aspirations, and willingness to collaborate. Seek professional guidance. Consult with external advisors or experts in family business governance and leadership structures. Pilot initiatives. Before making long-term commitments, consider piloting leadership initiatives to test their feasibility and effectiveness. Navigating leadership structures within your family business is a crucial decision that can impact your business's success and sustainability. Co-leadership and management teams offer distinct advantages and challenges, and choosing between them should align with your family business's specific goals and circumstances. By carefully assessing your business's needs, engaging in open discussions, and seeking professional guidance, you can make informed decisions that strengthen your family business's leadership and decision-making capabilities. Remember that the goal is to ensure the long-term prosperity of your family business for generations to come. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel to watch videos on the following five subjects self and time management and the self-organization, workplace skills, abilities, and capabilities, becoming an entrepreneur, family business, survival, and success, managing not-for-profit organizations, stay informed and stay successful. Please look for Bashir Juma on YouTube.